Welcome to Ecanic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to look at Mercedes live data. Um, so this is um, we're going to focus on the transmission control unit live data. A lot of people will often ask, how can I check the temperature, transmission temperature uh, on my Mercedes, or how I can look at like the transmission uh, shift points and things like that. You can do this in two ways. You can go to Diagnostics and then select Mercedes and then uh, Control Units, and then you select. Uh, transmission control unit or you can come to maintenance go to transmission adaptation go to um, Mercedes down here and then do smart then in this case it'll pick up but you can do manual selection to select the model so press yes and then right here we have you can see control modules we're only seeing transmission because it's uh, we're focusing on transmission adaptation um, that shows you the transmission um, conductor plate information uh, you, you can see VGS uh, 2 part number supplier hardware um, and so on so this can be helpful if you're you know looking to replace that uh, transmission conductor plate that you have you can read the codes you can look at live data you can do control unit adaptations like learn um, gear selector, drive authorization, so on. You can reset transmission adaptation data, but live data is what we're focused on. In this case, um, go to speeds, and then you can see here, converter, speed output, turbine, um, actual gear. So if I change, then it should change, you know, reverse gear selected, gear one. By the way, you can hit record and then drive, and then when you go back to the office or garage, you can play this back on the device. Uh, but shift programs, you can see transmit under shift programs. You will see transmission all temperature, and you can see that that's important. Is if you were looking to change uh, do a transmission flush, so you need to have that warmed up to correct temperature uh, before emergency running. It'd be like it says no. If it says yes, it means transmission is in limp mode. Uh, and it could be for a number of reasons. You need to go read the code from the transmission on the previous screen here, read the codes and see what's going on. Um, the gear change, uh, torque converter lockup clutch, you can see um, the speed, if it's turbine speed and, and, and so on. So let's go back, the emergency running, this is, in limb mode, it's now car is not switches and push push buttons. Uh, if, if we change the gear here on the center console between sport, I'm changing that. You can see switches to standard and comfort. But if you operate any of these other switches, they should change status as their drive authorization. Basically, it's um, they're oh, yes, car is good to drive in this case. But if you put a, a conductor plate in there and it has not been married or paired to the vehicle basically then you have no here and not activated will say no um, and start operation sometimes the conductor plate could prevent um, the end car from starting if it's not programmed or has issues in this case it's active so it's good transmission is completely paired correctly and you can um, also start the car but that's it that's how you can look at some live data on Mercedes and most importantly check transmission uh, temperature and this goes for other models as well it just might be in under a different uh, live data category in there but uh, any car that has a temperature sensor inside the transmission that does monitor the um, uh, temperature then it will have live data there that shows it some like pre-2000 cars might not have a uh, temperature sensor inside the transmission so the scanner is no way of communicating with anything to be able to tell you what transmission temperature but newer cars typically monitor transmission uh, temperature so they sh it should be a live data under your uh, transmission control unit thank you for watching mechanic what well, you can be the mechanic